Hi everyone, Gary here with Sarah and Associates. I'm beyond excited to introduce our newest member to our family. This is Frankie, everyone. Frankie will be joining Ferris, our other Frenchie, uh, to complete our family. So let's get to business. Despite rising interest rates, hey, I'm up here. <laughs> let's, get, let's try this again. Despite the rising interest rates, home sales rose again across all property types in July. This is showing sales figures that are strong, pushing up against low inventory. What does this exactly mean if you're looking to buy or sell? Let's look at the numbers and find out. Strong home sales pushed Metro Vancouver home prices past the rate hikes in July. On the supply side, we saw 4,649 new listings in July, a 5.2% decrease over the 10-year seasonal average, and a 17% increase over this time last year. This brings the total active listing supply to 10,301 homes, a 4% decrease compared to July of 2022, and a 14.4% below the 10-year seasonal average. On the demand side, there were 2,455 homes sold in July. That's a 29% increase from July of last year and 15.6% below the 10-year seasonal average. Sales of detached homes in July reached 681, a 28.7% increase from 529 detached sales in July 2022. The benchmark price for a detached home is currently $2,012,900. This represents a 0.6% increase from July of 2022 and a 1.1% increase compared to June 2023. Sales of condos reached 1,281 in July, a 20.7% increase compared to the 1,061 sales in July 2022. The benchmark price for a condo is currently sitting at $771,600. This represents a 2.6% increase from July of 2022 and a 0.6% increase compared to June of 2023. Townhome and duplex sales reached 466 in July, a 53.3% increase compared to 304 sales in July of 2022. The benchmark price for townhomes and duplexes is $1,104,600. This represents a 1.2% increase from July of 2022 and a 0.5% increase compared to June of 2023. To the supply and demand in our market, we look to the sales to act listings ratio. The balance is what determines price fluctuations. When this ratio dips below 12%, it puts us in a buyer's market and prices decline. If it goes above 20%, it puts us in a seller's market. Right now, we are sitting at 24.9%. By property type, the ratio is 16.5% for detached homes, 32% for townhomes and duplexes, and 30.6% for condos. The benchmark price for all residential properties is $1,210,700, a 0.5% increase over July of last year and a 0.6% increase from last month. The market continues to outperform in all segments, but condos and townhouses outperformed all in July. This could be the perfect time to move up the property ladder from a condo or townhouse into a half duplex and a, or a house. With the market constantly changing, the right strategy and the right team make all the difference. Let's connect and put us to work for you.